Did this Navy SEAL trainee drown in a tragic accident or was it a homicide? In May, 21-year-old Navy Seaman Derek Lovelace died during his first grueling week of training for the elite SEALs. His heartbroken friends and family want to know, how could it possibly happen? Derek and Rachel Richardson were childhood sweethearts since the eighth grade. What do we believe? We don't know what really happened. This Navy video shows the kind of brutal training the SEALs undergo. The Navy claims Derek drowned in a freak accident in a swimming pool during an exhausting exercise near San Diego, telling his family that his heart just stopped. The Navy also claims that Derek was not a strong swimmer. That made his sister Casey suspicious. Derek would come out here and he would swim all back and forth down these rocks. For years, Derek swam on the Florida Panhandle near Pensacola, even wearing this bulky 75-pound weighted vest. When he wasn't swimming, he ran and lifted weights, anything to get ready for the SEALs. I asked him, why are you doing this, Derek? He said, I want to go fight bad guys. The family's suspicions about Derek's death were confirmed last month when the San Diego medical examiner released this shocking autopsy report. The coroner describes Navy surveillance video he obtained from the swimming pool during the final minutes of Derek's life. What he saw was gut-wrenching. The coroner writes, Derek appears to be struggling after an instructor dunks him underwater. For five minutes, the instructor follows him around the pool, yelling at him and dunks him at least one additional time. According to several witnesses, Derek's face was purple and his lips were blue. Finally, he was pulled out of the pool, but he stopped breathing and died moments later. The medical examiner's finding, Derek Lovelace was the victim of a homicide. I would be more okay with this whole situation if he came back dead at the hands of the enemy. But instead, I'm having to deal with the fact that he was killed by his own instructors. No one has been charged. The Navy won't comment on the coroner's report, but says they are conducting an investigation and have taken steps to reinforce safety procedures. Meanwhile, Derek's girlfriend says she's lost the love of her life. That was his lifelong dream, and he was so passionate. And that was taken away from him. 